What is up guys? Welcome episode 72. Real quick, we're going to start off by leveling up our arcane symbol Choo Choo Island to level 18. Two more levels to go. Now, to the main point of this video, it is the 30% off day for the, uh, the the shop, the Pixel Island shop. So I'm going to buy a few things. Uh, things I'm going to be getting are, one, the character Burnator, obviously. Uh, there's a few good things in here, but that was the one thing I, I really wanted. Uh, obviously, I'm going to go and uh, buy the 40 slot chair bag. Definitely going to need that. Uh, aside from that, I mean, those are the two that I wanted to get the most. I think everything else doesn't really matter. Obviously, I'll still spend this. Let's see. Uh, arcane symbol selector. Yes, definitely going to buy this out. So buy out all 20. And then, uh, let's see. I mean, I have 700 more. I will just figure it out. But uh, I am going to spend this character Burnador on... Wait, double click. Okay, so I'm going to go and use this on my Beast Tamer. And you guys will see me train up the Beast Tamer in the next clip. So I'll see you guys there. Real quick before we actually get into the burning character. I was doing my dailies for Esfera. And look, I got a, I got a droplet. I was actually thinking in my brain, like, whoa, it'd be kind of cool if I got a droplet from doing dailies and there it is I got a droplet don't really need it right now but it's pretty funny I'd rather get uh, this droplet to be honest but certainly not complaining all right real quick before we start on the thing again uh, here's uh, level up level 16 on vanishing journey 990 arcane force one more level up until we get to 1000 all right now we will go to the beast tamer for real all right guys so a couple of Ooh, gotta go put in my pick. Really not a fan of having to put in my pick every single time I open storage. Hold on, one sec. Alright, here we go. Um, check out these Junior Boogie familiars I had when we had the familiar system. RIP, familiar system, 2020 to 2020. Uh, so let's go get this mega character Burnador. I have a decent amount of meso in here. That was just from farming. Uh, Alright, let's do this. Uh, let's see, so 30 days and can be used from level 1 to 10 to 149. Okay, wait, let me actually do my uh, calculations here. I believe if I start at level 12, uh, I get an extra two levels. Because if I start at level 10, uh, I think you get less levels than starting at level 12. Let me, let me do some calculations here. All right, so I calculated things a little bit wrong. It's actually level 11 that gets you to 149 so I know at level 10 if you start burning you get to 148 and with that you get to uh, 151 as your final level with burning if you start at level 11 you actually are able to get to level 152 so I will do that uh, first of all let's put in some links into my character what do we want here probably probably pirate's blessing yeah, so let's get a uh, all of the pirate's blessings uh, definitely gonna want the XP buff, so Elven Blessing, Combo Kill, Rune Persistence. Let's see, what else? Uh, Wild Rage, obviously, we're going to want. Uh, Elementalism, definitely. Hybrid Logic, probably. Uh, Iron Will, don't think we need that. Keen Edge, definitely want that. Uh, see, the thing is, the Core Aura would be really good, but I cubed it for... Uh, for luck and attack, therefore it's not that great for us. Uh, what else do you want to put on here? Uh, Solus. Uh, Tide of Battle, I guess. Sure, Tide of Battle. Let's put... Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter for the rest of the, the last two, so I'll just put in... Thieves Cunning, and then mm, why not just uh, Unfair Advantage, no, and then Judgment, Unfair Advantage. Alright, there we go. We should be ready to go now, and uh, let's forego these beginner quests, wait, what is this, and go straight to Golem Temple, which I believe, where is it? Where's the 
flaming golems. Here we go. All right. Let's train up to... Oh, there's already someone here. Okay, let's find a map and then train up to level 11, then use the character Burnador. All right, you got to level 11. Let's drop the character Burnador on it. Yes. Okay. And now, <clears throat> I guess we'll train here until uh, level 30 or so, and then we'll head over to Gold Beach. Shouldn't take long at all. I don't have a uh, Kishin currently, but this is uh, this is honestly fine. If I really want to go and train hard, I could just go get a Fury Totem. Uh, but for now, this is good enough. So I will see you guys at level 30, where we will move. I'm already level 17, so I'll be seeing you guys in like literally 30 seconds. All right, so I'm about to get 50 combo kills. Let's see how much XP <clears throat> that little combo orb does from the Ron's Link skill. All right, let's see. We're at 43. And now oh, we're at 60. You know, at earlier levels, it actually gives you, like, entire levels worth. But I guess at 23, it's giving us a little bit less. Uh, so anyways, I'll see you guys one second. I mean, literally, see you at, uh, what do you at? Gold Beach. Alright, you guys, here we are, level 1, or not level 1, maybe level 32. So we're going to go over to uh, Gold Beach, which I think they converted into a themed dungeon now. And uh, so the one thing if you are training beast tamer is that you should train in leopard form until you're in your level 50s i mean in the early levels this is uh definitely the best form to train they're also glitched right now so you get the effects of every single form no matter what form you're in so they're a bit stronger than uh they, <laughs> they should be actually way stronger than they should be and they're actually pretty apparently okay i didn't know this but they're apparently pretty decent right now so I'm going to head over to Gold Beach now. Okay, so wow, guys. I haven't played, or I haven't played, but I haven't leveled up newbie characters in a while. And it has come to my attention that Gold Beach is now instanced, which is kind of funny. Uh, I I guess it's a, a good thing uh, that it's instanced just because beforehand it was so, so crowded. And it would be impossible to find a channel most times, uh, especially in the peak hours. During the... You know, non-peak hours it was easier to find channels but I, I i feel like this is better but i would need to go check with some people who know what they're doing and uh, see what they have to say anyways i think i can put some skill points into here now actually okay and then uh figure out the rest later yes i gotta go figure out if this is still the best place to train this was before but i'm guessing there might be better alternatives now i will say i'll, I'll see all right i mean there are a few other options that are available but i, I guess doing uh, these theme dungeons is uh not too bad so i guess i'll do these i think there are better ways to train uh there's a place in savage terminal that i've been hearing about uh which possibly could be better than this but i just can't really be bothered to go there and plus we are burning right now and we will i mean it'll be really really quick so let's uh let's just uh do this theme dungeon get it done real quick get we'll see what level we get at the end of this i mean this is uh first time for me i've trained in gold beach a bunch but i've never <laughs> done the actual quests here i don't think they were quests here before but uh they must have put them in i know they put them in uh uh, some update okay let's talk, talk to richie give me xp thank you and uh we continue okay so i've been doing these quests for a few minutes i am now level 47 it's not bad a lot of this isn't just uh mindlessly kill this mindlessly kill that it's uh some of them are just there and then they give you free xp basically so uh is it worth doing hard to say uh exactly i haven't tried the other methods yet as i haven't trained up any newbie characters for over a year mm, a year and a half i want to say so i'm gonna just do this method and then when i train up my because I you get two burning characters uh when i get my next burning character and i train that i will try a different method and we'll see how it goes uh, and then i can let you guys know what i find to be a little bit better what is this Violet Cave Slimes. Okay, so I'm just going to continue these. Oh, never mind. Here we go. And watch. They just give you a bunch of free EXP here. Go from 34% to a solid 82. So this is this is pretty cool. This is, I think, a little easier. Maybe a little less painful than just mindlessly grinding on these purple slimes. Or purple uh, clam slimes. And we get the more 
XP, thank you very much. Level 53, uh, seven more levels. Once we get to 60, we can just go and mindlessly grind drakes until whatever I can stand. So I'll see you guys when I am there. Okay, actually, so uh, according to Ayumi Love's guide, at level 54, we want to train in bear stance. So let's use bear stance and do paw swipe. Let's start up putting points in here. Paw swipe, majestic trumpet, you only want six points in two. Uh, well fed, you want to max out, so we want to be well fed. Dumb luck, we want to max out, so let's do that. And then deep breath, you only want one point, so let's do that. And then what is this? Fort follow up, we want to max out. And then defense ignorance, we want six points, and we don't currently have enough points for it yet. But uh, let's let's see, let's change forms into bear. And uh, this this is nice. Okay, I'm um, gonna continue with the quest line now, and hopefully get to 60. Hmm. You know, I think it's actually no. Nah, I, I don't want to go against Ayumi Love or anything, but I think uh, at least from me training for the past minute or two, that staying on leopard form might actually be a little bit better. Uh, just because you're more mobile. I mean, look at bear form. You're very very clunky. You see, so. I'm just gonna stay on leopard form. Uh, you could honestly train on whatever form you like because, as you know, beast tamers get the effects of all their forms right now. It's glitched, so take advantage of this and just train in whatever form makes you happy, whatever form you can tolerate. Uh, but, I mean, I, I will say this class, at first I was kind of making fun of it for being terrible, but. In all honesty, it's it's not that bad. I don't remember. The, the only time I actually trained a Beast Tamer, just because I had this idea in my head, this notion in my head that it was terrible, was when it came out. And, like, I, I want to say it came out in 2013, 2014, some, somewhere around that time. Probably 2014, right? And I trained it up. And originally, as you know, I played in Broa back then. I trained it up to, like, level 40, maybe? Uh, and I, I remember getting to the, the Gold Beach area, and I was I was doing the Gold Beach quests, and I gave up on it, and I had never since gone back to training Beast Tamer. But now, in 2020, I will say, it's tolerable. It's not bad. It's, it's actually more than tolerable. It's kind of fun, I guess. Uh, I don't know if it's only fun, though, because I am <laughs> burning right now, but... We'll see, I guess, uh, whether or not I continue having fun. Uh, it is uh, like 11 o'clock in the morning, and I, I'm just a little bit hungry right now. But when I was looking at these uh, fried shrimp bites I was picking up while doing the quest, I got kind of hungry. But let's turn them into our good boy, Richie, and we're about to be level 60 now. So after this quest, we will definitely get to level 60. All right, here we are. Turn this quest in, and there we are, level 62. Uh, I don't know if I want to continue and to do these quests, but I I guess since I am already about to be done, I will uh, I will just do it and put on these new equips. So I'm a little bit stronger. Put on this whistle, and we continue with Gold Beach. But afterwards, I'm going straight to. Drakes, Copper Drakes, and Sleepy Wood. If I can find a map. If I can't, then well, there's, uh, I'll, just, I'll, I'll figure it out when we get there. Okay, this should be the last of the quests at Gold Beach. Here I am, level 68. Uh, obviously, you would not get this level if uh, if you weren't burning. I'm not sure what level you would get if you weren't burning. Definitely not 68. Let's do it. Uh, where's the boss? Okay, nice. I got a nice little uh, maple uh, achievement diary thing, so that was nice. And let's kill this thing. Climb up here and destroy it. Okay, nice. Do I need to collect this? No. Okay, let's go back. And now, let's go to Drake's. Well, let's first go here and collect our quest. Uh, and then Beach Bomb. Nice. Okay. Now, let us go to Drake's, where the real gains are about to begin. Alright, got myself MVP and uh, Blessing of the Guild, so Guild buff, and my lovely girlfriend has been holding down a 
Drake's map for me, and now you guys are about to witness the almighty and powerful Beast Tamer taking on Drake's. And uh, we gotta pop some of these. This is gonna expire soon. Pop one of these coupons, and uh, away we go. Just, I don't, wait, let, let's see how Bear's stance works now. Maybe Bear works better now? Okay, Bear is definitely better now. Oh my god, look at that. Ooh, okay, this is good. This is, alright. I take my uh, statement back earlier. Bear form is really good, uh, especially at Drake's. I mean, at uh, Gold Beach, it was just kind of meh, just because I had to move around a lot. But at, uh, at these Drake's, I'm definitely going to use bear form. Uh, yeah, look at this. So OP. All right, level 71 already. Uh, see you guys in a couple minutes when I'm... All right, well, we'll see. At the end of these 30 minutes, I want you guys to make a mental note. Oh, I just got a rune, too. Hold on. Let me see what rune it is. If this is rune of destruction, it's not. It's rune of thunder. This is good, too probably one of the better ones a rune of might is probably better at this level just because i could just jump down and just one shot everything but this is uh what probably third best behind destruction behind might and then it's this one so i can't complain at all but i want you guys to make a mental note in your brain and guess what level i will be after my 30 minutes of everything is up and if you guys want to guess uh that i dc before these 30 minutes are up feel free to guess so too if i had to make a wager i would say i'd probably dc too before these 30 minutes are up but i, I do keep, keep your double xp coupons yeah, i don't know if i would keep the uh the mvp probably not i don't know anyways uh i'll see you guys in uh, however many minutes we'll see if i dc or not or if i get big gains and you know what? i'm gonna make a guess okay if i don't dc i'm gonna guess that i get uh let's say up to level somewhere in the 90s not level 100 but close to 100 let's see how close i am to my guess okay guys i've been a complete fool <laughs> i've been training wrong this is what you do you use this skill right here and it just demolishes everything in your path okay this this skill is op this this bear skill right here i think this is what it was for this is why ayumi love was telling us to train bear form because this is disgusting oh my goodness look at this boom boom this is uh really strong i'm uh, very much enjoying beast tamer at the moment uh we'll see as i said when we continue to level up if this is something i continue enjoying maybe i mean because the thing is beast tamer gives you uh ied i think on the legion board which is pretty decent uh and me lacking ied except for i did cube that uh that secondary to give me a line of IED and a line of boss I'm okay for now but in the long term I would like to not have to have some lines like all those lines of IED on my or not all those lines but that one line of IED it could be better suited for like a line of boss so whatever I can do to increase my ignore defense I I will do so maybe because beast tamers glitched if I can stand training it or you know not even training it but like AFKing it in the sauna up <laughs> to level 200 uh, that would be something that is in my in best interest to do. I'm almost done AFKing my Hayato to 200, and if you guys don't know, Hayato gives you 3% crit damage at 140, and at 200 it gives you 5%, so that's a, like a, a hefty, hefty boost. And that's why I AFKed it to, uh, well, it's at 198 right now, so maybe in a few clips, maybe in this video, you guys will see me uh, getting it to 200. I don't know what I'm going to AFK in the sauna afterwards, so I have to go figure that out. Alright guys, I am uh, level 89 now. It took me about 10 minutes here, so uh, I will go to... I was going to go to Sahel too, but since it was already so quick, I'm going to go to Roids. Uh, where are they? Let me find it. Roid. Here we go. Lab C1. Hopefully I'm able to find a map. Okay, here we are. So I am going to go here. All right, JK guys, C2 is a little bit better. So let us begin. Let's see for here. No, this is this is pretty good too using this skill. It's not quite as good as when we were at uh, the uh, the Drakes because they had the nice platforms that worked really well with that. But 
This is uh, this is fine with me. All right, guys, level 101. I'm going to try out Zakum now. Uh, hopefully, I don't get destroyed. I I would assume that I'd be okay, uh, but <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, let's try this out. I bought some buff freezers, so uh, if I do die, I don't lose my stuff. Uh, so here we go. Let's go. I don't know what this is. No, no, I'm not doing this. Wait, wait. Uh, let's. Wait, do I need this? Whatever. All right. There's no way I'm taking four minutes to kill Zakum. All right, here we go. Uh, we're at 101. Let's see what you're able to get afterwards. Or if I just absolutely get demolished and I die. We'll see. Alright, here we go. Alright, three minutes left on my rune. I don't know what skill I should use, but... Uh, oh, wait, I don't have any potions bound. Okay, well, no potions bound. I'm gonna have to trust myself. Uh-oh, dodge. Oh, oh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. 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 I don't know what's happening, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, look at all these level ups. Woo! -hoo! Look at all these level ups. All right. Nice. Uh, okay. Now that I think about it, I probably should have waited until uh, there was the double XP event going on. And oh, it's not for another two hours. So I guess it didn't matter. So let's grab all this stuff. 116, not bad, which means I can uh, hmm, probably go to Robo's, or if Robo's are full, uh, I don't think I'm quite strong enough yet to do Moon Bunnies. I might want to wait one more two level ups to get to in the 120s before I do Moon Bunnies. Uh, let's just see what we have here, though. This is uh, some quite nice uh, equip upgrades here. There we go. That was a lot easier than I thought. Okay, off to Robo's for me. Okay, um, so... I was mentioning how I would, well, first of all, uh, I got to level 125 during that double XP coupon bonanza. Another thing I was telling you guys about was I was going to let you know whether or not I enjoyed Beast Tamer after getting to whatever we're at now. And let me tell you, this skill is OP. Oh my god, look at that. And that has a, a 10 second cooldown. And then after that we have this, which is kind of like phantom's tempest only you can't move you just have to stand here and do nothing there's this skill which uh i thought was pretty good uh wait why can't i use it okay i don't know how to use that skill this skill which, which is really good at the drakes and then we can do this again watch already it's been how long like 10 seconds and now we can completely clear the map again it's kind of fun not gonna lie beast tamer is it's pretty cool all right back to training for you guys Alright, I decided to move over to Moon Bunnies. Let's see how we do here. A little bit weaker. Whoops, let me um pop another double XP, pop this, and uh okay, you, you know I'm OP when I haven't <laughs> haven't used any potions at all. This is uh, let's take our first sip of potion and get our nice level up. Boom, 128. Alright, wow, uh I didn't think I would like Beast Tamer as much as I am currently liking Beast Tamer, uh, mostly just because it's so strong. This is this is literally the rotation I have. I have this, and then I turn this skill on, and then by the time this skill is done, I can use my other skill again. All right, I'll just sit here and wait and get leveled 134, and then as this tornado of craziness ends, we use this. And now I don't know what to do. But uh, I think there's no more bear skills for me. Oh, wait, there's still a few more. Uh, let's just max this out. And max the, let's max everything out in here. It doesn't really matter. We can just reset these skill points if, uh, if we really wanted to. But I like training on this farm. Bear form seems to be, at least from my very very rudimentary understanding of the class pretty good uh the leopard definitely has a little more mobility for those maps we got to move a lot but this this is fine for me and now we use this skill and i'm slowly gonna pick up some pencilier stuff so i can uh at least have some pencilier items to use once i get to 140. i don't think i will be training this past burning but in the future I, okay i mean see the smart thing to do would be to just train this all the way to 200 
because it's glitched and it has all the buffs of every single form right now. But I, I think I'd burn out way beforehand. Uh, we'll see how long I make it, but I'm guessing I'm going to just call it quits at 152 and then start on my Ho Young. Alrighty, here we are, level 140. 10 more to go. Okay, so I'll just let you guys see uh, some of the training here. It is a very strong uh, Beast Tamer, currently at least. I have, obviously, a bunch of Link skills on here, so it might make her a little bit stronger than she actually is, but at least for training-wise, this is very tolerable, uh, very easy, and it's been very fast. Let's see, it's 11.51, I believe. I started training, like, at around 10.30, so it's been about an hour and 20, hour and 30 minutes uh, since I started, and I think we'll be able to finish before, I want to say, maybe the two, two hour mark, uh, maybe a little more, maybe like two and a half hours to get Beast Tamer from level 1 to 150, and this isn't tryharding at all, I'm just doing this super casually, so uh, yeah, it's been fun, and I've been enjoying the class thoroughly. All right, and when I have my Pixel Warrior, I've just been putting it up right here. Then we use this, and then we use this, and absolutely demolish the map. Look at this. I feel like we shouldn't even be this strong at level 143, but, but we are. I got the Pencil Ear set since I did use the Epic Burnator on the Beast Tamer. You don't get any of the burning equips. Uh, like you would from a normal burning character, but uh, you don't really even need burning equips. You outlevel these maps so quickly that, I mean, you damage. You see, the, the one thing about training and reboot, and it, it's something that I have faced in the past, is because monsters have such high HP, about triple of what they have in normal servers, you kind of have a difficult time leveling until you, or not a difficult time, but you can't really one-shot the mobs as easily as you can in normal servers. But I haven't had that issue at all during this leveling session. Bear it in mind, I, I haven't uh, leveled any of these characters in, or just low-level characters in well over a year. So uh, my... Uh, my thought processes and my uh, just judgments are a little bit outdated right now. This is so easy. I mean, I, I feel like I could, uh, well, I have, after this, I'm going to have approximately 5,500 Legion, which puts me, uh, let's see, like three or four more characters to level 140 away from getting 6k Legion, which as you guys know, it's a really, really big milestone to get. It unlocks your entire Legion board. And it's it's pretty much I'd I'd say like the, the uh, you don't know well, AK obviously is if you want to be super beast mode and like have everything but six K is enough so once I get six K I'll, I'll I'll be good for a while so I think I what, what's going on oh, I don't have an FMP I think I'll actually go for uh for six K afterwards because I do need. Uh, a few more characters. I think uh, the ice, or not the ice landing, but explorer mages have really good link skills now. Uh, it's like defense ignore stuff. And then uh, I think, let's see, well, Ho Young will get me to approximately, what, like, so 5,500, like 5,800. And then I'll do one explorer mage. I'll do like the fire poison because I don't have a fire poison yet. And then afterwards, uh, what other classes do I not have? I feel like I already have every other class aside from that. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at my Legion board afterwards. When I get to 152, so I'll get my level ups, then let's take a look at my Legion board and we'll figure out the rest then. Alright, here we go. 149. One last level up until we are done with burning. Alright guys, so... It feels like as soon as uh, we've just started training this character and we're going to have to start saying goodbye to it soon because we are going to, and as we just face tank that messenger of darkness right there, uh, we are about to get to level 152 and it's actually perfect because look at the coupons right there, uh, there's five seconds left on them and as these coupons expire... You're going to see me get to level 152 as I'm just face tanking this messenger of darkness. Let me uh, get rid of this first. Uh, so, 
let's head back into town, check out uh, my Legion board now, and uh, see what we do next. I mean, I'm going to do my Ho Young next. Uh, we'll see uh, afterwards what I will do. Ah, uh, so actually, real quick, it is the anniversary double uh, drop and double XP event. I tried looking through Arcana's maps, and there was absolutely nothing. So this is what I settled with in Morass. It's probably not the greatest one. I think a better one would have been Bully Boulevard with the gangsters. But this is pretty good, too. I honestly feel, okay, I'm, I might just be... Uh, just how it feels and not actually is but i feel like i'm getting better rates here and maybe not mess up but xp wise which to be fair doesn't really matter but i feel like i'm getting better rates here than i am in clp except it's just that the maps are absolutely massive and it's a little more effort or okay let me scratch that a lot more effort to kill uh and farm here but uh, i mean you gotta do what you gotta do during double xp i will say some people actually a lot of people have been uh, smegging that it's really laggy, but I mean, look at me right now. I'm not really lagging at all, so I don't know. I don't want to jinx it, and uh, I might very well just jinx myself here, but it seems to be okay for me, at least right now. Currently, it, it doesn't seem too laggy. Uh, but I mean, I'm gonna be getting so much XP. I started out at, uh, I don't know what I started, I think I like. 49 or something and it's been 10 minutes i'm already at 54 so that's uh that's quite a bit oh all right guys a little check up uh it's been approximately an hour into double drop and double xp i've gotten a total of zero droplets uh, oh one thing i forgot to mention though was yesterday while doing my uh, arcane or not my arcane my esfera dailies i got another arcane stone origin droplet instead of the Arcane River, I got that origin one, which is not what I really wanted. I, to be fair, I will need it in the future, that is true, but I would prefer a normal droplet at this uh, current time, just because it has a little more use to me. Uh, continuing to farm at these Warhammer Knights, I really don't know why I chose this map, but it's not a, it's not a bad map. I'm actually, I think, I might be crazy here, but I think I'm getting better rates here than I am in CLP mostly due to the fact that there are so many more mobs here than there are at CLP. Uh, I have gotten, uh, it's been an hour, so about 700 mil meso, which I think that's more than I get at CLP. I, I don't know. I, I see it, uh, maybe not, actually. But, uh, I mean, given the situation, uh, this is okay. Gotten 14% DXP-ish, I think, which is uh, not as, well... I think in TLP I get like 10% an hour, so it's, it's only marginally better because of the lag and all that, but this is fun. I mean, certainly a change of pace from CLP. This is a nice different scenery, so this is this has been fun. I don't think I'll be farming all during double uh, the double event. I think I'm going to stop after an hour when my frenzy runs out, so I will see you guys then or until I get a droplet, if I get a droplet. Okay, I, I know why I only got a... 700 million an hour it's because i completely forgot to pop a wealth coupon for the second half of the hour so uh for this hour let's see we got 2.8 bill we'll see what we can get and I'll, I'll try to remember to pop all these at the same time here i'll just do this and this at the same time so i can try to remember to pop all of them I, it's like an issue that i've had recently where i'm just forgetting to pop one coupon i get everything else every single time it's only one i miss out on a singular one and most of the time it's either a double xp coupon which is not a big deal i, I at this point i think i've i've realized that i don't really care too much about leveling i mean leveling is nice but droplets are way more important than leveling unless i can go on a hard boss run i don't know if i've mentioned this in a video before but yeah i think droplets over leveling uh up and i mean i'm not gonna not use a double xp coupon if i can right i'm not gonna just refuse to use one but i if i don't have one like before i just wouldn't have leveled up now i'll, I'll still farm i think because i need the droplets and for the past uh, how long has it been? Uh, uh, not counting the Esfera droplet, because I don't want it. Oh, but 
I mean, I want it, like I said, but aside from that, I haven't gotten a droplet in, I want to say, six hours of farming now, plus uh, this hour of double XP and drop rate farming. Still haven't gotten one yet, so hopefully we'll get one soon. All right, um, I think I have a few more minutes left on my Frenzy Totem, but I'm not, or not Frenzy, Fury Totem, I wish I had a Frenzy Totem and Reboot. But uh, I'm not going to finish it off. Let me show you guys what I got. A whopping zero droplets in two hours. So it's been eight hours or so, maybe nine hours since my last droplet uh, worth of farming. I have 3.5 bill meso, which is, uh, what is that? Like uh, what's that? Uh, 700 mil. in an hour. So yeah, not that great, this map. XP wise, I'm at 73. What does that say? 73%.77. So I've gotten, what, just under, so 35% XP or so. So I do think this map is, well, obviously, it's not as good as uh, CLP. I thought it was, but I guess not. Uh, so I'm going to go wrap up here, loot all my stuff, and call it a day for training. Don't want to do too much and burn out, so this is uh, not bad gonna leave now and probably I mean depending on how long this video is if it's over 20 minutes 15 20 minutes I'm gonna go call it and we will train our ho young the next one if it's not we'll do the ho young I just don't want to make it too long anyways I'll I'll see okay all right see you guys in the next clip okay guys so I was opening up souls uh because it's magnificent soul weekend sunny Sunday and uh, as you see right here I got a magnificent magnus soul which is in the past this would have been very very nice I mean I, I suppose this is still very nice to have so uh, I can't really complain but uh, here we go let's put our mag mag in here that's pretty cool back in the day I would have been so thrilled but I do believe that I should just I mean I'm not gonna put this on a weapon because it's not entirely useful well it is it's one of the best souls but I am only four soul shards away from a lucid soul and once I get a lucid soul I can put any lucid soul on and it's better than the mag mag but it's still pretty cool uh, let's open up just the rest of these just so I can clear some stuff up fortuitous crimson queen uh, let's look at an arc nope 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 what else can I open bon bon sure uh, where's bon bon I don't think I got a nice bon bon where, where is it I don't know where it is wait did I just get a magnificent bon bon I don't think so. No, no, I got a hearty Von Von, and uh, those are all the things I can open. But yeah, very nice. Got myself a Mag Mag. Okay, so I put together the clips into Sony Vegas, and I saw that it's almost 40 minutes long, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, first of all, 1000 Arcane Force, not really, only 970 in reality, but 1000 uh, with the little boost I have for my hyper skills. And then one last thing we'll do before we end it here. We're actually going to go and upgrade our Legion because we have enough. And now we can do this. And what happens now is we can add more characters to our Legion board. Quite a few more, actually. So I can assign units and ones that haven't been assigned we can use to fill out the little bits and pieces, which I will do uh, in the next episode or later on. I mean, you guys will see. I have to go figure this out. So... <laughs> I don't want to go and waste your guys' time with me just bumbling about doing this. So I will let you guys go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. But when I'm rank... What is that? Rank I? Heroic rank I. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Drop that like if you did. If you watched all 30-some minutes, you guys are awesome. Anyways, peace out.